I'm using the brush tool and the brush settings panel, which can be found in the window menu. Here in the brush tip shape section, I'm using Spatter KTW3, but of course you can use whatever you like. If I click and release, this is what a single brush tip looks like. If I click and drag, this is what we create. Pretty repetitive, right? So let's spice this up a little. Let's temporarily increase the spacing so we can really see what's going on. Also, keep an eye on this preview down here. Let's activate Shape Dynamics, making sure the check mark is on. As I start to increase the size jitter, you can see the size variability creeping into the preview. Let's leave this at 100%. Now, the angle jitter. As I increase this, we can see the individual brush tips rotating relative to each other. Again, I'll leave this at 100%. Let's now activate scattering. Again, making sure the check mark is on. The scatter can get out of control pretty quickly. So I might set it at 50%. I'm also going to activate both axes to have scatter occur in both directions. All we have to do now is come back to brush tip shape and play with the spacing. I might just bring this all the way down to 1%. The preview looks great. Let's check it out for real. Excellent. I hope that helps. Catch you later.